Hey, this is John, a return guest on Zoinkmeister, playing with Patrick. Hey. And we're playing Little Nightmares on the PC. Let's get back into the darkness. So the door behind you closed, so that's not the way out. Yeah. And hopefully they give you an easier way so you don't have to try and deal with all those spooky things when you're trying to run. Yeah. Um, the piano's I would, definitely... That rose is very suspicious. I would grab that. Ah, uh, knock that over? Yeah. Hey, Rose, you know what I think of you? Wait, what's a good... Um, we need like a little catchy like one-liner. put it on top of the where the statue was or something. Maybe it's another Indiana Jones oh, thing. Oh, maybe. That was not my plan. But, uh, You're just going to break it? <laughs> Pretty worked. good shot. Good shot. Okay. Ta-da! Just, uh, just put it there. I don't know. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Yeah, that, oh, clearly yeah. not. Clearly not. Oh, maybe we just have to close the, the chef thing again. Oh, okay. I didn't think about that. I just... I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to get up there again. Ugh. I see the light keeps going out. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Oh. Um, oh, okay, there's this. It's not my plan. So there's something up at the top. Yeah, I can't climb it, though. Okay. Um, so that's not working. Uh, if only that dang vase were in the way. I was just looking. What's a what's a catchy one-liner for throwing and breaking a pot with a rose in it? Like, uh, I guess I'm a thorn in your side <laughs> or something. I don't know. That's, yeah. It's worth a shot. Yeah. Uh, no, I still don't see anything. I never promised you a rose garden. Is that a, I don't it's know a song? That. You don't know the song? No, I don't think I do. Oh, maybe I can close it from just grabbing the top. No, I cannot. Whenever I jump it, like, no, okay. That's... See, it uh, seems like sometimes when I jump the lamp flickers, and that was what was kind of throwing me off. Um, I don't know, maybe over maybe here Maybe your flashlight. Use your flashlight. Let's look around a little bit. Try grabbing the, the light, maybe. I feel like it has something to do with this light over here. Like, I think I think the trick is, like, he even shows him, he was pointed at it. I think the trick is, like, doing that. Oh, pa, there you go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it did kind of keep drawing your the attention. The funny part there. is, yeah, I kept, like, I kept, like, pointing out that light. I was like, man, it has something to do with that light. I don't know what that light is. It's like when I jump, it's like I should be jumping something to do with jumping in that light. Like, what what could it possibly be that it has to do with jumping and that light? <laughs> <laughs> if only I could think of it. Uh, so here's what I'm going to do. Okay, hopefully there aren't any spooky little guys around. Yeah, I'm going to set the statue down here. Huh. I know. Is there a secret you know about? No, I just want to see what was in that hallway. Oh, okay. We, okay. Never, we never explored the hallway. So this is probably a really bad idea, especially since the lock is back. Really? Oh, man. Why is the lock back? Is the key still here? Oh, the key's still right here, though. Okay. So you can still get in. Look at that. Somebody locked it. Somebody just thought, you know what? Somebody did not lock the door. So... Born in a barn. There's a bottle. Oh, I thought this was a staircase. It's just a wall. Okay. Well, there you go. We explored it. Oh, uh, okay. I thought there was a staircase leading down. It's like, what? Why is there a whole staircase there? Like, there's got to be something. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take the thing. Take the easy way out. Is that how you do? Yeah. You know, right, yeah. I don't know. Right. Are you more of a stairs person or elevator person? You know, um, so no, I I would generally take the stairs. Stairs are usually faster. Okay, but what if the stairs was a ladder? Um, you're right. Then I would probably stay, take an elevator. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kerbal Space Program. Oh, that was a bad idea. <laughs> what? What did you do? I launched it into outer space. Did you not see? Were you not entertained? Come here, statue. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. I don't know how that thing survived that. The statue wanted to be an astronaut, and I just fulfilled its dream. <laughs> wow. Oh, okay. All right, here we go. Finally, the end of the puzzle. That was a long puzzle, man. Yeah. Ta-da! And now the door opens. Ta-da! Ta -da. And, oh, broken mirrors. You better look for a mirror. This is one where you're going to fight back. Yeah. No, but you can't kill the lady because we know that Seven kills the lady. Right. But so... It's not going to be that. Oh, shoot. She's right there. Oh. What's she doing? Oh, she's <gasps> looking herself in a mirror. We can see her face. She doesn't... She has two eyes. Uh, maybe she has a mask on. No, I think that's her face. Her mask looks like the geisha. That's her actual face. Huh. Maybe shine the flashlight out, do you think? No. <laughs> No. Maybe break her mirror? Oh, that would really make her mad. So should I try to sneak by her? Well, she can see us in the mirror, right? Because we can see her face. Yeah, but if it's dark, I would sneak by her. I would just kind of sneak and stay in the foreground here. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, no. Didn't do that. Okay, now I would just run like crazy Is would be my next step now. Interesting. So yeah, I wonder if there's a hole. I should probably turn on my flashlight. Yeah, go through the door. Yeah. <laughs> Is it probably okay, now she's gone. She's not... Um, 
Okay. Super speed. She's not chasing you. Oh, oh yeah, well. she's right there. Okay. Arguably, she's chasing me. Okay, she is there. Speed of sound sonic. Me, yeah, jumpy, jumpy. Uh, she's right in front of you now. No, yeah. she went through the door, didn't she? I think I'm tired. Oh, yeah, look at that. You're getting tired. I'm gonna See, wait. you shouldn't. It's a good thing you took the elevator, I guess. You saved a little bit of. Oh, okay. Oh, that's bad. Hey, look There's at a this. bottle. Just gonna grab that. Okay. Well, I think Take that. Take a little sip of there bottle. You go. I'm losing you, the last bottle. And that might actually be all the achievements in the game, but I'm not sure. We'll uh, have to check cool. after. Well, probably, no, I think we'll probably have one for finishing the DLC. Um, okay, so at this point. Now we know that she can't stand flash, no, mirrors. She's okay with mirrors. flashlights. You need a mirror to fight her off. Yeah. Do you think I can jump? Oh, that's too high. You need gnomes to help you. Yeah. We need the gnomes. That would be cool, actually, if we saw, uh, if gnomes came to our rescue. Yeah. There's something here. You could throw a gnome up there and then he would catch the handle and. I can't see anything. Um, does this look climbable to you at all? Uh, no, I guess no, not. I don't think that's it. Okay. Where are we supposed to be going? Yeah, she seems to break her mirrors. So it looks like she can look in the mirror. So like, why did the mirror hurt her at the end of the main story? Because we saw her staring in a mirror for a long time before she shrieked, whatever. Yeah, maybe because I think it was more the light. I think maybe natural light. We were like reflecting light onto her, right? In yeah. The first one. It wasn't so much her seeing herself. You had to be standing under a spotlight at the time. Okay, and then from here, there's this door. Yeah. Maybe there's something I can pull to... Stand or maybe I'm just going to the background. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, this appears to be it. Okay, now we're back yeah, on Yeah, yeah, okay, again. all right, I got it. Yeah. Okay. There's another door there, but I don't think... But I no, I think you either. grab that one either. Oh, see Daisy, okay, that's the Too end of that. Far. Oh, left. There we go. Um. Oh, there you go. Pick up that mirror. No, no? I can't. I'm holding okay. the pick up button. I'm gonna say climb in the right there, climb up that junk. No. That doesn't seem to get me very far. Yeah, no further than you were before, really. Yeah. Okay. So here we are in this room. Yeah. It's a broken mirror. The door's still open. You could try and there's like a little bar behind that tall. Well mirror. this door's open now. Yeah. So we're in like a it's supposed to be like a creepy maze thing, I think. Maybe. Okay. Well, that's bad. Okay. Oh. I don't, there she is. Yeah, there she is. I don't think there's anything I can do about that. No, no. <laughs> I just kind of was walking. See, that's what her face looks like with a mask. It's very different from her face without the mask. Right. Boy, she's enjoying that a little too much, man. Torturing you there, dude. That was, that was freaky. So usually that's a game over in the main game, right? In the base game. If she picked you up, Oh. that's game over. Oh, okay. Huh. Oh. Are we a gnome now? Maybe that's part of the game. Now we're a gnome. I'm, I'm a no that's me. Oh, that's how people become gnomes. So she doesn't turn kids to statues. She turns them into gnomes. Oh, how interesting. So that would have been a game over in the base game if she picks you up. What we didn't see is that you would have been turned into a gnome. That is, that is very interesting. That's yeah. Cool. Okay. So now here are a gnome. Now we're going to go help out uh, Seven. Yeah. Right oh, here. wow. I can't see a thing. I don't have my flashlight anymore. Can I still jump? I can't. <laughs> this is my jump. Oh no. So yeah. Jump across. Oh no, okay, jump down. Yeah, jump down. Oh my goodness, I'm a gnome. He's so oh, cute. I hope Seven doesn't eat us. What? No. <laughs> Maybe we're the gnome that he eats, that she eats. That would be full circle. Cause we, we're the ones who fed her the bread at the beginning of the game. Yeah. Oh, we're with the patrons. Right, so we're gonna get some food and like hand her a piece oh, of food. Oh no. Oh no, we're the helpful gnome that hands food at the worst possible time. No, it wouldn't do that to us. He's a cute little gnome. He's like, not as fast as some gnomes, but. No, some of those gnomes, man, they book it. Wouldn't it be funny if she like picked us up and threw us at something in order to grab on? Whatever. Yeah, I think we just suddenly became a tool. I think I'm supposed to grab that can and. <gasps> There's a sausage. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna... Oh, that's... I think you're right. No, I can't grab that. Okay, wasn't he holding a sausage? I thought he was, yeah. Maybe... Oh, that sausage in the light there at the top? I can't jump very high, so... Huh. Not sure. Oh, man. I thought I was gonna pick something up here, but it doesn't seem like it. Interesting. Uh, let's it's go back over here. It's kind of grossing me out, though, just thinking about... Oh, there's a can. I can't pick it up. I can't pick anything up. Huh. You can kick it, I guess? I don't know. No, I need to hit the button somehow, so I need something I can pick up. 
That's... Huh. No. Huh. Maybe I can push this? Can I push this? No? You can push... Maybe you can just jump down the hole. What about that? That's true. Let's try that. Ah, oh, you're right. I just okay. need it. Oh, there's a sausage. No? Oh. Sausage? I'm still... No? I'm worried about what's going to happen. <laughs> I'm, I just have a bad feeling about this. I'm not able to pick up any sausages yet. But there's a lot of sausages around. Here we go. This there's is the sausage. The sausage. No, don't do it. There's a little. He's gnome going. Friend. The little gnome's going. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm not. I'm not touching the controller right now. Oh really? Yeah, okay. Controller's down on my lap. I'm not pushing any buttons. This is a cutscene. The other gnomes run away. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Just being a little gnome. Just doing my little gnome thing. Hey, look at that. He's got a bottle there. Yeah. So I guess I'm one of the... So all these are children who've been caught by the lady. Yeah. Oh. That's kind of a sad ending for... Oh, sausage. For the runaway kid. I can't believe, yeah. He, he fed six of bread at the beginning, and then he gave her... At least they're not going to show it. I think they're going to cut away. Do they? I think we just know what's going to yeah, happen think, here. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. oh, gnome. That's it. We'll meet again. Yeah, I guess we will. Oh, jeez. What are we looking at? Oh, that's it. Credits. Okay. Wow. Secrets of the Mall, Tarsier Studios. That's it. That's the end of... That's a, that's a fun little tieback. I didn't yeah, see that coming. That's the end of Little Nightmare. So it turns out the Runaway Kid... It was the first and last meal. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. That's crazy. So that whole third act happened concurrent with, because Patrons is act four in the main game. So I imagine the third act happened concurrent with the third act in the base game. And then the gnome transformation process must have taken the duration of the whole fourth act, and then we appear there at the end. Because Six wasn't there, so I guess we don't know how long we were hanging out in front of the sausage before Six finally shows up. My patient, fiance, and family, I'm sorry for the late nights. Oh, I don't know who that was. The coal man. <laughs> coal man. Oh, it's a TV. Over. Hey, this whole thing was just a show the entire time with a can on top. Is this going to be like a teaser for the Lemmers 2, or...? Okay. It's like That's a different, yeah, thin little guy man. thing there. That's it. All right. Well, that was a fun game. That was, yeah. that was pretty neat. So let me check real quick. Uh, I'm going to cut back in a second. I'm going to check the achievements, make sure I have them. We're missing three achievements in total, so we haven't completed this game yet. Um, one of those is speedrun the base game. I don't know what the other two are. Uh, it's pretty weird. But uh, if we go to chapter selection, we should be able to see that we finished his story, hopefully. Yeah, all the rooms should now be lit up. Yeah, so if we look here, I can zoom in. You can see five out of five. Recovered Floatsome. Uh, five out of five, five recovered Floatsome. Yeah. And five out of five recovered. So we did get all the collectibles and all the chapters. Um, we even got the little secret uh, Ashes to Ashes trophy in that third chapter. And finally, we can check the, uh, the extras. Uh, do we have any new masks? No, I think those we had all those. Concept art. That's uh, loading, I think. There we go. Yeah, we have new. Co now we have all the concept art. Oh, okay. So we're, so we're missing some before. So I don't remember what the last one we saw. I think this one was the last one we saw, right? Yeah, we did see that. Yeah. yeah so now we no, have this we one. Seen this one. So this is some of the kid designs, I guess. Some of the lost children. Yeah. Uh, it's very creepy, especially the second guy from the left. I think that was one of the portraits. Yeah, it's I think weird, the like, I think the kid in the middle even looks like one of the shadowy like, guys that tries to kill you, maybe. Oh shit! I thought he looked a lot like the runaway kid, but with like yeah, the maybe maybe higher bangs. I don't know. Uh, that's the... I think her name is the Grandma, actually. <laughs> but um, the, yeah, the Lady in the Lake. Uh, that was from the first chapter. That was an interesting uh, perspective. I'm surprised that she never just, like, grabbed us. Like, seemed like she was always, you know, under the water or whatever. I feel like she'd be much more... Yeah. Better served if she just, like, surfaced like that. Yeah, probably. Maybe she sinks. She doesn't look around. Yeah. Oh, interesting. So these are all concepts for the design. So you can see she, like, lives underwater... Whatever. Yeah, it looks like she oh, just... Oh, yeah, look at that. That's kind of cool how she has her little chair down that she's hanging out. Yeah. Yeah, that is pretty neat. Yeah. I didn't really get that perspective playing the game. Oh, really? No, there was one part where all the furniture was chained down. And so yeah. I kind of got the idea that, yeah, she was just, like, hanging out under the water or whatever. Yeah. And then the one on the bottom right, you kind of see maybe she just, like, crawls on hands and, knee, hands and feet. And then don't we, don't we empty the water at some point? 
Yeah, in that room on the bottom left. We empty the water, and that's how we see all the... And then what happens to her? She just leaves, I guess, at that point? We electrocute her with the television. Oh, right. That's yeah. right. Okay. We horribly yep. murder yep. her. Yeah. It's all coming Awkward. back. Awkward. So this is a lot of concept art. Okay, yeah, there you go. She's on, like, elbows and knees under the water. Yeah. Is the idea. That's the grandma. Um, and then this is the maw underwater. We wow. see the full maw. Okay. That actually, I feel like that really helps. Because this yeah. whole time I was like, why does it, what does it do? a real do? strong iceberg effect there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you see the tiny little island at the top of the smokestack. Right. But the rest of it is just like a giant machine that just hangs out under the water. That's cool. I like this design a lot. Um, oh, but it looks like the, the table though, right? The little thing we flipped up. The little... Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah the, yeah, the top there does. Yeah. Um, then this is the... looks like the hideaway where all the little gnomes hanging out. It's on the bottom with a little gnome laying down the bottom left. That's kind of weird. I think it's dead. But I'm Aww, not sure. Yeah. Gnome. Um, then this one is more of the hideaway when we're throwing the... Right. It's just reversed, furnace. but yeah. Yeah. Uh, more, more of that with like the coal everywhere. Hmm. Huh kind of interesting oh yeah the little cart designs because remember we had to push the little mine cart right so it's like different cart designs originally but we ended up they ended up just going with the mine cart uh and then that's the top left is the conveyor belt room right they ended up getting reworked it's actually the top right too top oh sorry uh whoopsie daisy let me just go ahead uh were we this one yeah so yeah you see the Oh, this little little gnome is buried by the coals. I don't think that actually happened. But you see a little feet uh, well, I think coals. wasn't there one? I thought there was a gnome buried by coals. Oh yeah, we pulled him out, right? In the it was in it was in the upturned cart. Uh, Do we pull him? Okay, I just remember something being under. Yeah. Okay, I remember seeing something underneath coals or something. I don't remember pulling him out, but yeah. Um, there's this furnace again, just kind of concept design. I think there's uh, the mast. That would have been cool. That to see. would have been interesting if we'd seen the mast like on the floor somewhere. Yeah. yeah, it's all the books with the tall ladder and all that. It's like a secret door there too that we never saw. Yeah, I imagine they, that probably just wasn't. I mean, I guess we did find the very secret ashes to ashes area, but uh, so yeah, uh, yeah, all the books that are like so tall that they're falling over. <laughs> kind yeah, of interesting. The bookcase is kind of leaning over because of all the weight. Yeah, and then yeah, just more more pictures of the oh. Oh, is that supposed to be your family tree? You see there on the right, oh, all the pictures are above the lady. Interesting, yeah. Which wasn't really how they did it when we saw it. It was just kind of a wall of pictures. But it would have been interesting if that was like the idea was the it was like a family tree sort of situation. True, yeah. Um, oh, all the shadow figures were originally going to be taller, it looks like. But then at the bottom, you see, they just made them like little kids, whatever. Right. But at the top, yeah, they look like they're going to be like full things. Uh, and that's the lady without her mask on. So she's like really ah. old looking. So I wonder if the idea is that she's able to like live forever from her like soul, soul sucking sucking thing, but she doesn't look any younger. So yeah. She just like ages forever, maybe. So maybe she does when she was young and then just um, just kept getting older and older but never dies, yeah. huh? Yeah, so yeah. that's why she makes all the statues of her younger self, whatever. Oh, just, uh, okay, maybe so. Yeah, and yeah. all the paintings of herself yeah, and things yeah. like that. It's like she's trying to remember what she once looked like, whatever. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. Uh, and that's it. That is the last picture. So um, I'm going to, before we end this, check um, check to see what those achievements we're missing is to make sure it's nothing we can just get real quick that I just was like, oh, I probably should have grabbed that. Oh, wow. Okay. So there were there was a secret in each of the three areas. So we missed the uh, secret okay. in area one and the secret in area two. These bottles that we missed? Or? No. So the first one was in the first area in the room with a bucket in the middle. Take a wrapped head and throw it into the same bucket. And the second one was, you remember that wooden gnome we found? Yeah. We're supposed to throw the wooden gnome into the furnace. I kind of wanted to start throwing things into the furnace. I was tempted to do that. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Would that be easy to do? Do you want to see if we can just like hunt those down real quick? Because the first one should be easy. It said it was in the first room. I don't remember where the wooden gnome was, though. I don't I don't know if I saw a wooden gnome, but yeah, I definitely wanted to throw things in the furnace. I remember that. Let me see if That's I can... always a temptation. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, that's close. Made it. This is it. Okay, hey, guys, we're back in the area All right. where the secret is. Uh, so uh, if you remember, there's this little bucket here. Uh, we had to stand on a little board. I can even show off, like, what... Uh, so you remember here, this is the area that we were, we had to like climb up here, go up here, push this board over, remember all that? Right, yeah, they made a little bridge over the buckets. Yeah, 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 ran up here, tripped across, and then right there, we're trying to go through that door. In order to do that, we had to go down and push this thing down and run across, right? Right. But instead, there's this little sack here. If we take the sack, come over here, bucket, 
Michael Jordan. Oh, just kidding. Uh, if only uh, you're a Michael Jordan. Uh, LeBron James. Uh, uh, wow. Uh, I can't. Uh, another basketball player. <laughs> um, uh, uh, I don't know. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Mickey Mouse can't shoot, so that okay. Now it, I mean, makes, it sense. makes sense. That's too, that's too close. So if anything, maybe this line. There it is. There it is, it's on the line. Fun and games ahead. That's the first secret from the first DLC. Yeah, we got that. So now on to the second one. Uh, so we'll be right back. So that's the wooden gnome we need. Um, it's on the on the bench there. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I think we looked at it. I remember seeing that wooden gnome. Back out to the furnace. Yeah, so we just did the whole puzzle with this coal cart and we grabbed this gnome. Hopefully they cut in me grabbing the gnome at least or something. All of you guys need to stand up here. It doesn't really matter though. How do we, oh, I have to put the gnome. Put it there. on there, yeah. go down and pull the lover. Yeah. Um, Man, we're so missing. You really had to know that gnome, <laughs> you really had a yeah. purpose to take that gnome all this way. Yeah, this is probably that was a the, long walk. Yeah, this was probably the hardest one. Uh, we lost one of the gnomes. Weirdly, oh, no. but it doesn't matter because we don't have to finish the level. But if we did have to finish the level, yeah. I'd be annoyed that like one of the gnomes disappeared for the second time. <laughs> we just have gnomes yeah. randomly disappearing on us. You just got to make sure they're with you at all times. Yeah, that's okay. We don't actually need the gnomes. We just need the wooden gnome because uh, we already finished the level. So let's right. go up there. It seems like the gnomes like despawn or something. I'm clear. There There's, it is. Yeah, so we only have two of our gnome friends for some reason. That's okay. We just need this. And we are going to participate. Now that we know that we're one of the gnomes, we have to participate the way that all the gnomes do. And uh, is that is that the idea? Bring our contribution to the fire. No, I don't know. Okay, our contribution yeah. is... What there is... you go, ashes in the maw. So we, oh, that okay. is the last. All right, so now, if I exit the main menu, and now, <laughs> uh, if you can press shift tab for me again. Okay, so here, Everything as you can see... Everything is taken care of. Except for one. Nice. Yeah, so I got all the achievements except for one. So I'm going to scroll through these real quick. And as you can see, the only one we're missing is the hard to the core. What's different about you? Why are you so brave? Which in order to get that, you have to finish the main game in one run without dying in uh, less than an hour or something like that. Oh, wow. Huh? Less than two hours, one hour, two hours. I forget what it is. Okay. But so yeah, you have to speed run the game without uh, dying once. Okay. So it's pretty, I haven't attempted it yet. I Either still... you're very good or else you, you try a few times and yeah. you get it. Yeah. So I, I hoped, I hope to give that a try. I hope to get, I hope to complete this game at some point. But for now, it's not completed. Um, but that last achievement doesn't require you to do anything differently from playing the game. You just have to play a lot faster. Uh, so, um, I mean, I guess you just know the game a lot better by the time you're done. But for now, I say this is our time to give the game, if we haven't already, which I think we might have, but just the full experience of both the DLC and the base game. What do you give it as the final Zoinkmeister review score? Um, so, I mean, I thought it was a lot of fun, a lot of, a lot of good puzzles in there. And, you know, pretty, pretty spooky, lots of surprises. I like, I like the way it all kind of tied together at the end. And I'm gonna say, I, I, I liked it. I don't know if I'd, uh, B, B plus, I'll say. B plus? Yeah, I feel like I'd probably give the same thing. This game has a lot of uh, issues with like, we had those gnomes despawning in that chapter and just. I don't know if that was intentional though. I, I kind of think like, keep track of your workers, you know? If you don't, Maybe. if you didn't keep track of them, then you lost them and yeah. too bad for you. Yeah. I think that might've been intentional. But when you restarted, if you just restarted, they would appear next to you. So there was that. Yeah. That's how we ended up saving the first one. Yeah. So I don't know. It seems like a weird choice. If that was intentional, I think it could have been done. Like there should have been a way of recovering it without just restarting. Yeah, that's yeah, that's true. That's um, true. It's like breaking a you know breaking the key. Oops. Right. Now I gotta respawn to get my key back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So then past that, uh, there's a lot of like the it's hard to tell like background foreground stuff, whatever. Like your 
position. Uh, it's kind of like a two and a half D, except it's not like it's fully three D, but like feels like it should be more of a two and a half D, where it's like right. Yeah, you know, I felt like a lot of times everything looked diagonal when in fact it was just straight left, straight right. Right, exactly. It was, was a lot of confusing me, sure. camera angles and stuff. Hard to tell which way you're supposed to go. Yeah. So yeah, all of these are kind of negative points, but the atmosphere is really good. It's a little dark, but I think it works for what the game is. It's hard for a let's play, but like when you're in the moment, it's like ooh, you know, it kind of fits the what you're. What I think what the game's trying to yeah, get. Yeah, a lot of scary moments. A lot of a lot of uh, creepy things showing up up and and uh yeah exactly stuff coming at you yeah um, and it was nice that the the dlc added like more difficulty i feel like i feel like the dlc was generally just harder than the base game so if you like the game and want to see more of it um i feel like dlc was like the like next step it was like a right. very like felt like it built off of what the base game had done instead of just being more whatever and a lot to play you know i mean hard to the core is doing it in an hour so, yeah i mean easily if you if you play through this game it's gonna take you a few hours to complete so right yeah it's definitely not something that you'd get the hard i'm, I'm gonna real quick look up if hard to the core exactly what the time is it's um yeah it, it was it was a lot of fun it's i don't know what's the price tag on this thing is it is it a 70 it's not a 70 dollar yes. game right it's an indie game so it's under one hour without beating it. i think so i want to say that the base game i think is only like 20 dollars full price yeah I mean, uh, maybe it's forty dollars full price. Let me look up Little Nightmares on Steam. Find out. I think it's pretty good. I think that for what you get, for the amount of puzzles that you get out of it, and um, entertainment and, and all. So here it is. Okay, so the base game costs twenty dollars, and then the complete edition, which includes this DLC, costs thirty dollars. Uh, so it's ten more dollars if you want to get the yeah. um, to get this DLC. So, which the DLC is about half the length, even more, right? It's three fifths the length of the original, supposedly. I mean, I feel like the DLC each level was longer. Eh, probably not. No, I'd say it was like three yeah. fifths the I original. I mean, you can't even go out to dinner for thirty bucks, you know. And here I, you get to play this game for yeah, you know, for a few hours straight. Minimum, um, yeah. It's a good time. It should take you an hour and a half if you're very good at it immediately and know how to speed right. run it. Right, and you're not like even looking you, around for stuff. Yeah, if you prepare and you do nothing, none of the side stuff, then yeah, it, minimum hour and a half. But I think there's a lot more in it, and I think I think twenty dollars. $30. $30 felt like, I don't know why, I guess. The DLC was really good. Honestly, I think it was worth yeah, the $10. Definitely. Um, but I got this game on sale because of Steam. So you can, you know, I got the game like half off. So I paid like $15 for the base game and I got half off on the DLC too. So I got like, it cost oh, okay. me like $7, $8 for the DLC. So then it's, you know, it, it becomes a $15 game. And right. it, at that price, it's absolutely worth it. This game's a lot of fun. It's a really nice atmosphere. Uh, it definitely could use some works, but the, you know they made a sequel. Hopefully, the sequel is a bit cleaner uh, with all the like gameplay mechanics and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I think this game is. I don't know. I might honestly. I like the story to it. I like the fact that you can do sequels yeah. and you can find out, you know, so what happens next, you know? There's, yeah, it's a prequel, you could even, but yeah. Yeah, you can even, but you can even do a sequel after the fact and, right. you know, after Seven takes over as the, yeah. as Queen Bee, yeah. you know, what does she do? And maybe yeah. another character is trying to, yeah. you know, or maybe you're her for a while and you're doing yeah. evil things. I mean, there's all kinds yeah. of ways you can go with this game. Definitely, definitely. It's a, it's a good story. I feel like I might give this just a B neutral, actually, like not plus, just because... I feel like too much of the game is sloppy in the controls. It's just like really, really sloppy mm. controls. So I feel like it could be tightened up a lot, you know, and there's too much of it like doesn't make sense with the contextual like control inputs. Like to climb a ladder, right? you have to go straight up, even though the ladder's like at a three quarter angle. So you'd like expect to have to hold left, but holding left like doesn't work. There's a lot of stuff like that where just yeah. a lot of times it's really confusing which direction you need to. You're like, oh, I should point in the direction that I want to go. It's like, no, no, it's actually. It's actually directly left or directly right. Yeah, yeah it's, it's always coordinate yeah. directions, which are just very confusing. I feel yeah. like so I feel like a lot of that could have been worked in. So I think I'm going to give this a neutral B just because of all the thing. going down ladders was always harder than it should have been too. Exactly. It should have been a natural thing to just. Yeah. OK, clearly I want to go down the ladder. Right. But Why no, am you had I to falling? Like, you had to like, Why is this a big deal? Yeah, you had to like hold both triggers and yeah. then move like really slowly and wait for the animation to kick in yeah. for him to like get onto the ladder. Yeah, that was kind of weird. And then you're safe to start going. Yeah, no, it was just too much like, yeah, too many of those things should have worked better. Like I felt like I was fighting the game more often than I was fighting the little nightmares. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, I'm giving it a B neutral. Uh, you're sticking to B plus though. Um, I'll, I'm going to talk me down off of it. You're right that they could do some improvements and I'm going to do a B, I'm going to do a B neutral. All right. I really, I really like the story and I think it's got a, I think they can go a lot of places with yeah, it. Yeah, right. That's but, the thing. Uh, a I little think bit that's, cleaning up to do right. though, for sure. I think sure. that's why I, yeah, like so. when you said it, I think that's also why like your initial reaction, you feel like leaning towards a plus just because the, the story aspect and the atmosphere and all the artwork is so well done that it's like, you feel like you want to give it all those, you know, pluses, but hopefully the sequel game will be a plus or even a minus you know, or even an A if it knocks it out of the park, you know, that'd be best case scenario. But yeah, this game, I feel like it has a lot of potential, a lot, a lot of potential, but I think a lot of that potential is not realized here. Uh, so yeah, so I'm giving it that the neutral B, but it's definitely a lot of content, especially for the money. If you can get it on sale, then it's absolutely yeah, worth it. Even better out. on sale, but yeah. I, I wouldn't, I don't know. 
15 extra 15 bucks wouldn't stop me that's for sure it's yeah no it's, it's not, not a big deal yeah, yeah, yeah um so yeah it was a fun game i enjoyed i enjoyed playing it it was a good time man yeah uh so go ahead and uh, uh, shift tab again for me and we'll close it out by uh by closing the game so thank you guys for being here uh it's the end of another series i don't know what's coming up next but uh i really enjoyed doing this yeah and, I hope uh, you guys like the video yeah we had a good time yeah we did so uh thank you see you later zoink out Thank you.